literally every sequence has clubs like Society of Professional Journalists, RTNDA, uh, PRSSA, and those are like as easy as going to the first meeting, seeing if you like it, you know, signing up, paying if you if there's a due for it. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. And those are great because they always have like workshops and stuff like that. Um, as far as TV shows go, uh, if you're into sports, when I was a freshman, I went to the first meeting for Gridiron Glory, and I did that for two quarters, and I loved it. Um, WOUB is really easy to get into. I mean, it literally email Sherry Russo and tell her you're interested. You'll get set up with a senior, junior um, student, and they'll take you through how to get trained, and you'll do radio, and then you know move on to TV reporting. So that's honestly the best resource that we have, and it's so easy to get involved in. And it's like it's like real world experience. I loved it. I did that my freshman. Year. As a freshman, you can get involved in pretty much anything at Scripps. Um, I think that's one of the great things about the program is there's so many opportunities that we're not all competing for the same prize. Um, there's a number of publications and magazines, the Post, obviously, the newspaper, and then there's opportunities for broadcast majors ranging from WEB radio to TV to, um, you know, separate video projects around campus, AVW. So, I think that's actually one of the best things about the Scripps program is there's so many opportunities we're not all competing for the same one. Be, it would I would be remiss if I didn't tell everybody to write for the Post, but uh, I think they should get involved with as many publications as possible. Um, personally, I think this is the Post best publication to be involved with, but there's many options. Um, if you want to be magazine, online, uh, straight newspaper, radio. Uh, there's really anything you can do, but the more you can do and the more you can put on the resume, the better it's going to look. I mean, we really do have really good professors that are teaching the classes, and they really challenge you, and they, they want it to be as real world as possible. So, I'm in midday right now, and that's a great resource because it's like a newsroom. You get here at 8, you work until 1, you put on a new show at 12 o'clock every day. You know, and your reporting show, your reporting classes, like you'll do radio and you also do TV. And it's like you take a camera out, you have to do these packages and edit them yourself and write them. So um, it's challenging in the sense of like it's not like a schoolwork. Like you're not writing papers on how to do this, you're actually doing it. But it's also a great payoff because then when you take your first internship, you already know how to do most things. So. It's as challenging as you make it. You can get as involved as you want or um, not as involved as you want, I guess. Um, but it's important, I think, to challenge yourself because this industry is going to be really challenging when you get out of scripts. So it's challenging if you make it challenging, but just make the most out of it. When I'm in classes, like my just general OU classes, I have to go to the library. Can't do it in my dorm and I can't do it at my house now because I don't get stuff done. <laughs> like up in like the creepy sixth and seventh floor of the library where no one's like there. The best place to study is Baker, behind the escalators, because nobody ever goes back there and they have really comfy chairs with big desks on them and that's where I study instead of Alden because Alden's too crowded. Because I'm up here so much, it's probably just around the office here. Um, we actually have a nice conference room that's pretty quiet, and I get a lot of studying there. I've actually only been to Alden probably three or four times this entire quarter, but when I didn't work here as much, I'd probably go to Alden. Um, actually, the sixth floor stacks are ridiculous, ridiculously quiet, and that's where I got a lot of my studying done when I was when I was younger. So I'd suggest, I mean, almost anywhere in Alden, maybe second and fourth floors are kind of loud, but sixth floor, fifth floor, first floor, I mean, they're all pretty quiet. You can get a lot of stuff on there. Because of their reputation. I knew I wanted to do journalism and I visited other really good journalism schools like Northwestern and you have to feel it. Like you, I walked on campus at Northwestern and I just was like, I hate this. And so I went to OU just because I knew it was such a good school and then the fact that it has a great reputation plus it's so pretty and it's so like typical college, I just loved it, so I got lucky, I think. I chose Scripps because it was in-state tuition, it was the best opportunity for me to get where I needed to be in the broadcast industry. It has great connections and networking opportunities, and 
um, I have yet to see another school that has a program like WEB. Uh, it's one of the best journalism schools in the country. Uh, it's well renowned, very respected. I wanted to come here and be a part of it. Real, they're really good multitaskers because they're always doing like 400 different things. And as you know, and they're doing it very well. So, you know, they might be busy, but for the most part, they can handle anything. And that's something that you just pick up on really quickly with freshman year. It's like whether you've been an organized person or not, you end up being organized and you end up being like on top of everything you're doing. So, a script student, I feel like there's two different types. There's ones who are very involved and ones who aren't. But I would say a script student is hardworking. A script student doesn't give up. They're competitive but helpful to each other. Um, it's not a nasty, mean competition. It's just um, like helping each other out. Yeah, it's about, you know, five foot nine to six foot five. <laughs> anywhere from 140 to 195. Uh, no, uh, I don't know, hardworking uh, sometimes, hopefully. Uh, doesn't want to get beat, competitive, that's why you're here. Um, really competitive school, competitive profession, so I don't think people would be here if they didn't want to be the best.